came at the Nevada State, near, or Nevada City, something like that, Nero Gauge Railway Museum. Some kind of a big passenger car here. Turn around, you can see the whole thing. Number 52. Ooh, real glass on the windows, aren't we cool? Oh. Interesting stage coaches there. Little coaches. This is cool. A Jeffrey Steam automobile. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can see inside there. Umbrella top pleasure buggy. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I got the name. Pleasure buggy. Frank Morse, soul selling agent, Sheffield Car Company. So this is cool. I definitely want to ride one of those. I wonder if it still works. Some mumbo jumbo about don't touch. All right, well, let's go up inside this passenger car. Oh, it's a dead end. We're trapped. Please exit the other door. The day it arrived. Oh, here's a picture of it arriving on a flatbed truck. Week. Okay. Notice up here, I guess these are windows for ventilation. I'm not sure. I don't think they had air conditioning back then. So they just had to open the windows to keep from getting too hot. This is in California. I'm not sure if we're officially Central California or Northern California. Something like that. Somewhere. Ooh, here's a Velocipede. Sounds legit. All right. So 52, let me go back this way. Okay, I guess I can go out either door here. <laughs> Never been here before, I have no clue what I'm doing. The rides are sold out for today. I don't think I'll come back tomorrow. It's only so many. All right. So. It's a couple different rail. Ooh, nice and bright. There we go. You owe company 915. We we'll go back this way. Do not climb on rail cars or equipment. Bummer. Okay, N C N G R R. I dare, I dare you to pronounce that out loud. <laughs> Tank capacity 5,700, 5,570 gallons. All right. LTRYNT company. All right, one interesting name for a capacity 2,492. I'm assuming that's gallons. Only wimps use li li liters, <laughs> just kidding. Make the aperture a little bit bigger. It's cloudy. I kind of like the lighting. It rained a little bit today. It'd be funny if I got all wet. I'm not sure how big this museum is. I know they got over a mile of track, but the rides are sold out. So it sucks to be me. Right. So there's a caboose, kind of the cupola on top. Looks like they got at least two steam engines over there and one little, can't tell if it's gasoline or diesel. We'll just call it ice. Okay, what is this thing here? NCNGRR 142. Is a catchy name. Standard and narrow gauge wheel sets. Ooh, cool. I was joked that this is a uh, Chuck Norris's dumbbell collection. Okay, now I think to the left is a dead end, so I'm gonna go to the left first and then I'll go ahead. Warning, security cameras in use. See, there's a track up here. Oh, this is where they get on and off the rail bus. Cool. Well, then I'll do this before other people come around here. Oh, cool. It looks like they actually have a turntable to turn the rail bus around. Okay. 
I definitely want to see this turntable in use. I'm assuming they got one at each end so they can reverse. Okay, cool. So the question is where's the rail bus now? Very interesting indeed. Is it this thing? I thought it was a different color. So this is Lake Tahoe NGR something 56. Cool seating. It's like got hard wooden seating. For a short distance, it's okay. Yeah, see, this isn't, this doesn't have any locomotive. This is just a car. I think the rail bus has actually got a built-in self-propelled car. Like, uh, you know, commuter rail trains. Ooh, okay, you know what? I need to switch batteries real quick because I don't want to miss out the rail bus arriving.